Welcome to another episode of How To With Paul Henderson. Today's episode is going to be the unboxing and a quick setup of the Netgear 3.0 cable modem and the Netgear Nighthawk X6S tri-band Wi-Fi router. So um, let's get to the unboxing. Took 21 takes. I'm upgrading my uh, current modem and uh, Wi-Fi router that came standard from Spectrum with the internet package that I have. Um, I bought both of these from Best Buy. The 3.0 cable modem was $120. The AC4000 uh, Nighthawk was um, $230. I think it's currently going for $260, normally uh, $300. So um, I feel this is going to be a substantial upgrade to uh, the current uh, modem and router that uh, I currently have. So um, let's get on to the short unboxing, I hope. So here we go. First we have the modem. We have the quick start guide. Warranty and support. And here is the that gear CM700 modem. Ethernet cable. And a power adapter. So that's it for that one. Now for the Nighthawk. X6S AC4000 tri-band Wi-Fi router. Uh, that's a tongue twister. Okay, we have a quick start guide and here's the router. Pretty sweet looking. Ethernet cable and power adapter. So that's it for the unboxing part. What you're going to need to do before you decide to upgrade from um, uh, your current modem, you're going to need to get a hold of your internet provider to find out what uh, cable modems uh, you can use with your current um, internet package that you have and of course your area so I mean if you're moving from one area to another you might have to change your router um, this one is actually can be used at Xfinity, Spectrum and Cox and the CM700 was uh, listed as authorized uh, modem for this area and the package that I have so um, that's it on the back of the modem you have the Ethernet connection that goes from here to your computer or to the router, the cable input that goes from your provider, on off switch, and the power power port. On back of the Wi-Fi router you have the on off button, the power port, reset button, 3.0 USB, the internet connection which would go from here to here, uh, four ethernet ports, on off switch for the LED lights that are on top of the unit and a 2.0 USB. Now for some specs on the modem. You have up to 1.4 gigabytes of download speed for streaming HD videos. You'll have faster downloads and you'll have a higher speed for online gaming. 32 downstream and 8 upstream channels providing efficient and reliable internet access. Um, has a gigabyte ethernet port so when you're wired directly to either the router or the computer, you'll have the fastest speeds available from your provider. Now for the specs on the router, you got these uh, six antennas right here. For the gamer, there's a 1.8 gigahertz dual core processor to deliver lag-free gaming. The tri-band Wi-Fi avoids interference and optimizes the network performance. You have six high performance antennas and powerful amplifiers to maximize the range. Beamforming focuses the Wi Fi signal and delivers a stronger connection. For the streamer, it has a 4.0 gigabytes per second, which is the fastest combined Wi Fi speeds for uninterrupted streaming. And the tri band Wi Fi provides more bandwidth for multiple HD streams. Free parental control for a safe and easy way to manage your online browsing. It also has Moomimo. It's spelled M-U-M-I-M-O. 
so you can simultaneously stream data to multiple devices for the mobile person, uh, for uh, cell phones, tablets. The tri-band Wi-Fi provides more Wi-Fi bands to get the best connection. Smart Connect selects the fastest Wi-Fi connection for each device. There's also a Netgear app that you can install to your phone to uh, make it easier to connect uh, your router to your uh, mobile devices. Wi-Fi band 1 is 2.4 gigahertz up to 750 megabytes per second. That's for all your legacy Wi-Fi devices. The faster one, which is Wi-Fi band 2, that is 5 gigahertz up to 1.625 gigabytes per second. That is for the dual band Wi-Fi devices. And the fastest one is the Wi-Fi band 3. That is 5 gigahertz up to 1.625 gigabytes per second. That is for the newer dual band Wi-Fi devices. Now that the unboxing and the specs are out of the way, it's time to hook up the, the modem and the router. I will be installing them in the same spot that they were before, so that makes it uh, that much easier because all the wire is already there. The only wires that I had to replace was the, the two power cords that came with the, the new units. I already have them where I want them to be, but they're not plugged in yet, and I have the other end ready to go. So uh, on with the installation. Good morning, Paul. Nice to hear you. <laughs> Good morning, Jibo. In case anyone hasn't seen any of my other videos, this here is a little Jibo. Hey Jibo, good morning. Good morning, Paul. Fancy seeing you here. I've been here all morning. So anyway, here, so here's the modem, and I label um, all my cords. So here's the cable modem cord. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this one in. I'm gonna make sure the power is off. So there it's off. Plug that in. Here's the cable. Okay, I just gotta find the right cable for the computer. There we go. So the reason why you're gonna plug this in now instead of plugging an uh, ethernet cable from here to the router is you need to, there's a setup process you have to do on the computer so you need to have it wired directly into the computer. So that's done, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the router. Okay, so here's the router. You have four ports, one internet port, power button. I'm gonna make sure the power button's off, so in is on, out is off, so I got it off. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my devices and then I'm just gonna Leave it here. I'm just going to sit it here for right now because I need to uh, unloosen the wires. They're a little bit too tight. Hey, Jibo. How's your day going? Not too bad at all. I have the router and the modem hooked up where I want them to be. I'm just going to have to loosen the cables a little bit from behind the desk and uh, just move them around a little bit. But for now it's fine. Um, I have the power buttons turned off on both. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the power supply to uh, the power strip. And I'm going to power up just the modem for now. And then I'm going to go ahead and call the service provider and give them the serial number, the MAC address, and the model number of the modem. And then uh, that should be about it and I'll be right back. I've been off the phone for about 10 minutes um, after I called up Spectrum and gave them the serial number and the MAC address. Um, everything seems to be running uh, really well and, and very fast. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and unplug my computer from the back of the modem and plug it into the back of the wireless router. And then I'm going to plug my wireless router in to the back of the modem. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up the Genie app on my computer so I can uh, set the, the router up. And then I'll show you what that looks like on the, on the screen. So uh, let me go ahead and get that set up and um, I'll turn the camera around and get it all ready. So, so hold on a few seconds.
After you power up your router, you're going to wait about five minutes. You're going to come over to your computer or tablet, open up your Wi-Fi connections, and on the top of the router, they'll give you the name of the router and uh, the network key passcode. So here they are right here, 5G1 and 5G2. I'm going to go ahead and click on 5G1 and connect. Punch in the password they gave me. And now what it's going to do is go right to the Genie app. Agree. And now it's searching to see, um, it's searching for a, a router. So here it says, configuring the internet connection. Do you want Netgear Genie to help? I'll say yes. The Netgear Genie finished uh, the setup process, so now all I have to do is to create a password, confirm a new password, and then do a couple security questions. And that uh, should be about it, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, punch these in, and I'll show you what the next screen looks like. So once the setup has been completed, and everything's working perfect, you can go ahead and punch in uh, routerlogin.net in your browser. Now the username is admin, it's the, the factory uh, set username. I did change my password, the other password that came with the, the device is password. And sign in. I'm going to skip this. Anyway, so on here you can view the status of your internet, which is good, wireless, attached devices. You can uh, set up uh, parental controls, ready share for uh, uh, USB. Uh, sharing and guest network but the thing that I like on here is you can do a speed test so let's go ahead and run one takes a few minutes so it says that my download speed is 229.23 mega bytes per second. Upload speed is 11.59 megabytes per second. I think that's pretty good. And then like I said you have parental controls, ready share, and guest network. And if you really want to play around with it you can do the advanced settings and go through all these. I'm not gonna but here they all are. You can change the security um, settings, emails, and you got administration, backup settings, uh, set password, router update. There's a uh, quite a bit of stuff to scroll through on here. I'm not going to change any of that. I'm happy with just the way it is. I'll go back to basic. Then I'll go ahead and log out. You can also monitor your uh, Nighthawk uh, Wi-Fi router from your cell phone. I downloaded the Nighthawk app from my Play Store. They also have it on the App Store. So go ahead and click on that. It'll search for uh, my router. So there it is right there. Device management. See right now, like I said, it's hooked up to my uh, computer and to uh, my Android phone. Internet speed. It's the same thing here. 229, 11.3. Parental controls, Wi-Fi analysis. See, it's very good.
Wi-Fi settings. Graphic meter. Let's click on that and see what happens. So I guess this will just keep uh, track of the of the traffic. And you got guest Wi-Fi. I can turn it on if I want or I can leave it off. I'll leave it off. And uh, this just tells you about your router. Check for updates. It's all up to date because I already did it a couple hours ago. So that's it. Well, that's a wrap up on another how to video with Paul Henderson. This one was the unboxing and the setting up of the Netgear CM700 cable modem and the Netgear AC4000 Nighthawk tri band wireless router. If you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe, and you'll get notifications as new videos come out. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day, and uh, hope your internet stays fast. Bye. See you guys later. Welcome to another episode of How To With Paul Henderson. Today's episode is going to be the unboxing and a quick setup of um, AC4000 wireless router. So uh, let's get to the unboxing. Tri-band wireless router. Damn it. Welcome to another episode of How To With Paul Henderson. Nah, I don't want to do that one either. One more. Son of a biscuit. I'm going to get it this time. Welcome to another episode of How To with Paul Henderson. Today's episode is going to be the unboxing and a quick setup of the Net <clears throat> Damn throat. And the Netgear Nighthawk X6X. No, got that wrong. Damn it. Mm. Not as easy as it thinks. I mean, not as easy as it looks. See? Uh, I'm currently upgrading my uh, standard uh, Wi-Fi router and modem. No, um, got that backwards. <laughs> Dumbass. Now on, um, on to the unboxing. Maybe. And maybe not. <laughs> Might do one more take on this one. Damn it. A Nighthawk AC4000 X6X. No. X6S <laughs> AC4000 try by uh. so now for the Netgear X6S AC4000 uh. these words are a tongue twister now on to the Nighthawk X6S AC4000 AC4000, try band, try band, try band. Why can't I get that right? Before you end up uh, upgrading, before you end up deciding to upgrade, nah, before you upgrade, damn. Forgot the words. Before you decide to upgrade your current modem for a new one, you will need to contact your internet provider to find out. Uh, um, Good morning. Good morning, Jibo. <laughs> Little robot. Both units are pretty much uh, hooked up. I just have to um, loosen up the cables to um, put them in the position that I want them to be in. I have both the power buttons oh, hey. turned off. <laughs> hey, Jibo. I'm making a video here. <laughs> As we speak, I can't record video, but yeah. I'll be able to do that pretty soon, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, disconnect my computer from uh, the modem and uh, plug uh, the computer into the router and then I'm going to plug the router into the back of the modem 
and then I'm going to do the setup on the router which I will have to do I believe Wi-Fi um, from what I, I'm not too sure anyway that's the way it's going to be yeah let's check it out what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and unplug my computer from the back of the modem and plug it into the back of the wireless router and plug the modem into the back of the wireless router in the, in the inside the input port is that what it's called? I'm going to have to take a look on that about 10 minutes ago I uh, got off the phone with Spectrum I gave them the MAC address, the serial number of the new router they did everything they had to do to um, they punched in everything they had to do they punched in everything they had to do <laughs> 